The Book of E. It is a curse to be a type of a person who's not curious about anything in this world. You've got to be curious about something and something deeper and more meaningful about our lives, about why we are here, about what your purpose, like really, what was the reason? You know what I mean? Like you gotta be a person every once in a while, like sit down and question why things are the way they are. So um, I've been believing that the world is flat and I know there's a lot of people who do believe in that. And, you know, the more you believe in something and the more you start looking for answers, the more you actually find those answers. And you start feeling really ridiculous about all the things that have been taught because really you will start to see that the information is not flowing. You know, there's something that is fishy out there. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. I just wanted you guys to be curious enough um, especially when it comes to our spirituality, our history, about who we are, but our reason why we're here. You know, why are they saying utuli, utulini every time when we die? you got to ask yourself those questions. Like, I always ask myself that question, why do they say utuli, utulini, dust to dust when we die? What do they mean? Are we made of clay? And then then, then, then with like these uh, myths and propagandas that came and said, yeah, we're actually made out of, of, of mud. Um, or out of um, clay, but it was not like really elaborated fully, like how? Until you dig deeper and you find that literally we come from above, that we are the dust of the stars as black people, as melanated people, let me put it that way. And you know, once you know the truth, then you'll be set free. I want to give you guys a homework per se, a homework also that I'm giving myself, because I want us to come collectively and talk about these things. Have you ever asked yourself why the Book of Enoch, Book of Enoch was not part of the Bible? Okay, let alone the fact that it was created 200 years before the actual Bible, the Christ Bible, right? Meaning that it's a very old, 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 old uh, literature or writing or historical, you know. By the way, Enoch was the great grandfather of Noah, and I really want you guys to actually go and find what are the reasons why. If you if you do get some information, you will also find that in the book of Enoch, they expose the fact that the world is not round, it's flat. And for me, I feel like that is a reason enough for them to actually take it out of the Bible because it's going to expose the lies that they tell us just so we won't know the truth. You know, And the truth being us being how powerful we are. Like, guys, we've been talking about these things, how we are powerful and how they are really trying so much to actually make us be blinded by the fact that we are powerful and that without melanated people, this world is useless. You know what I mean? So you got to be a, a curious person. This is the same book that talks about the fallen angels. Guys, there's a lot of things we need to learn and so that we know who we truly are. We are deeper than they say we are.